Here in just season two of this franchise rebuild, we have a chance to win the division and get into the playoffs. Obviously, there is still a lot of games left to be played. In this episode, I want to get through at least two games. I want to go through this game against Kansas City and then the divisional matchup against the Atlanta Falcons. However, we do have a few upgrades to get to first, like wide receiver Mike Williams, who gets plus one to catching, jumping, and short route, but gets plus three to release and two to trucking. And then rookie backup tight end Jerry Brooks gets an upgrade point. He gets plus one to ball carrier vision, catching traffic, and run block finesse, also trucking, and then gets plus two to catching and short route. Another player that was an undrafted free agent that is now a backup on our team, Andrew Jordan. He gets plus one to awareness, man coverage, play rec, and tackle in two to zone coverage and goes up to a 70 overall. And the final upgrade point we have right now is quarterback Nick Samuel. Plus one to awareness, throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy short, and throw on the run, but also gets a new ability slot. We saw his first ability just a few games ago is closer, so he can easily enter the zone in the second half. That's pretty worthless right now, considering he's not a superstar X-Factor, but his new ability is passes with his ability improve the catching prowess of all tight ends who are open on pass plays. So Braden Willis and Jerry Brooks should get a little bit better. We do have a tandem breakout here on defense. So let's see who's trying to get a dev trade upgrade. It is rookie defensive back Will Thomas, and he says Michael Davis plays at such a high level and always leads by example. Do you think I can have that kind of impact? Now, Davis did just get two interceptions against his former team in our last video against the Chargers, and we can either challenge defensive back Will Thomas for an interception bonus goal, or we can praise him for a ratings boost. We're actually going to go ahead and praise him here, and let's see what kind of boost he is going to get here. I'm ready to run through a wall, coach. Well, that's good. I just want to see what upgrade points you get. Michael Davis has earned 2,500 experience for inspiring a teammate, and does Will Thomas get anything here? Get two combined interceptions and pass deflections with defensive back Will Thomas against the Chiefs to inspire the entire defense. And defensive back Will Thomas will have plus three to man and zone coverage for this game. Obviously, we know the Chiefs are led by a 99 overall Patrick Mahomes. At running back, they have an 87 in Isaiah Pacheco. At wide receivers, an 83 overall Kadarius Tony and a 77 overall in Rasheed Rice, also a 78 overall in KJ Hamler. At tight end, they have a 98 overall Travis Kelsey, not a 99 here. And then along the offensive line, they have a rookie left tackle as a 75 overall. At left guard, an 88 overall. At center, a 92 overall in Creed Humphrey, a former Sooner. At right guard, they have an 85 overall. And at right tackle, they have an 80 overall. Now on the defensive side, George Karloftis is an 80 overall defensive end, and then they have a 78 overall right end. Defensive tackle is a 74 overall and a 70 overall. At outside linebacker, they have Willie Gay as a 77. Middle linebacker Nick Bolton is an 89. Other outside linebacker is a rookie as a 76 overall. At corner, they have an 84 in Trent McDuffie and an 87 in Legereus Sneed. At safety, they have Justin Reed as an 83 and also a Brian Cook at 73 overall. We will watch the offense's first drive of the game. We begin this game at the 25-yard line. Nick Samuel will line up under center. It's going to be a fake to Kendra Miller. Now he's looking downfield, and that will be inaccurate. Just barely misses his man. I thought we were going to start today with a huge gain to Curtis Samuel. Now a second and 10. So the 25-yard line. Samuel will look to pass again. And this one is going to throw to the outside. That one's caught by Samuel. We will start today with a huge game from Curtis Samuel into Kansas City territory. A 31-yard play. A one-yard run from Kendra Miller on the next play brings up a second and nine now at the 43. He'll drop back to pass. He fires to the outside. That one will be caught, and that'll be out of bounds to bring up a third and three. And that was actually Tylen Wallace, which tells me someone's probably injured for him to be playing right now. We'll hand it to Kendra Miller on third down, and he won't get the first. Fourth and one. I really wish we could be a little bit more aggressive here and go for it, but I will take the 53-yard field goal attempt. Let's see if Christopher Dunn can make this. The kick is away, and this one will be good. It appears A.T. Perry actually has turf toe, so he won't be playing in today's game. Our defense would force a punt on Kansas City's first drive of the game, but then on our first play following the punt, Jalen Watson intercepts quarterback Nick Samuel, and they take over at the seven-yard line. You really can't afford to make a lot of mistakes like that when you're playing a team like Kansas City. Now Mahomes comes out in a five-wide set. He'll take the snap and go downfield. That is going to be caught into the end zone. Touchdown, Kadarius Tony. They take the lead 7-3. to three. 
On the Bison's next drive, though, they are looking to respond. It is third and 10 from the Chiefs, 32. Samuel will fire over the middle, and that is caught for the first down by Mike Williams. Now it's a first and 10 from the 20. Samuel comes back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back here. He'll take the snap and drop back to pass. He's firing over the middle into traffic, and somehow no one came away with that one incomplete. That leads to a second and 10. Now Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back. He'll drop back to pass. He's dropping farther back. He's under pressure, and he'll get sacked on the play for a loss of nine. Now a third and 19 for the Bison. At the 28-yard line, Samuel will drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket, he's going to throw deep down the sideline, and that is going to be incomplete. He had Curtis Samuel wide open. Once again, you cannot afford to make a lot of mistakes when you're playing a team like Kansas City, but we will settle for a field goal try here. The kick is away, and this one will be good. And now on Kansas City's next drive, they are down to the Bison 20-yard line. Mahomes is all alone in the backfield here. He'll take the snap and look at the pass. He's going downfield, and that'll be deflected by Will Thomas. Are we going to be able to inspire the entire defense? I think he needs one more deflection if he hasn't gotten it in simulation. Now second and 10, he goes downfield. That will be caught for the first down, and Travis Kelsey down to the one-yard line. That brings up a first and goal from inside the one. Mahomes takes a snap, gives it to the fullback, but he is brought down by Bumper Pool in the backfield for a loss of one. That now leads to a second and goal. Mahomes will line up under center and a goal line set. He takes the snap. This one they'll give to Pacheco and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Bison come out on their next drive and get to the Chiefs 22 yard line. It is first and 10. Samuel back in shock and hand off to Kendra Miller who goes up the middle and will fight his way forward for about a four yard gain. That will bring up a second and six for Oklahoma City. At the 18-yard line, Kendra Miller is still the running back here, but he'll drop back to pass this time. Standing back in the pocket, he finally throws this one downfield. That'll be caught along the sideline by Jerry Brooks for the first down. And Kansas City would actually challenge that play, but it would be upheld, so they burn a timeout. First and 10 from the 11. Samuel will drop back to pass. He throws over the middle. That's caught by Mike Williams down to the 6-yard line. That will bring up a second and 6 now. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back. They'll give it to Miller to go to the outside, and he will truck through one player and get brought down inside the one and actually gets the first down. So now we have four plays to gain half a yard. From inside the one, Samuel will take the snap, hand off to Kendra Miller, and he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma City. Instead of going for two after the touchdown, we would kick the field goal, so we're still down by one, but now the Chiefs have driven down to our 13-yard line. Mahomes out of shotgun, will drop back to pass, go over the middle, that's caught by Pacheco for a six yard gain. All right, I lied, that was not Pacheco, I thought it was, it was actually Rasheed Rice, but now second and four, handoff to Pacheco, that definitely is him, and he's brought down for a two yard gain. That brings up a third and two, Mahomes out all alone in the backfield here. He'll take the snap and a quick throw, the end zone touchdown to Travis Kelsey. The Bison would begin this drive with a one yard run by Kendra Miller, now a second and nine. Samuel will look to pass here. He's throwing downfield. That will be caught by Tylen Wallace, and he's got the first down. With the way A.T. Perry was playing this year, Tylen Wallace kind of got buried on the depth chart, but he's showing he can still be serviceable today. Now he throws to the outside. That one's going to be caught by Tylen Wallace again, this time for a gain of four as we run a no-huddle offense. Back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass again. He throws over the middle. That will be caught for the first down. And that one was actually by Puka Williams. And so now first and 10 from the 47. Samuel will throw to the outside. That one will be a diving deflection intended for Mike Williams. That leads to a second and 10. Samuel back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. A blitz is coming, but he finds Braden Willis over the middle, and that brings up a third and two. They are going to run the no huddle offense here. The clock is still running. We do have all three timeouts that we could use here. Now Samuel's all alone in the backfield. We'll take the snap and go deep over the middle. Caught by Mike Williams for the first down of the 19. We are still not electing to burn any timeouts. I don't understand it here. 25 seconds to go here in the first half. He drops back to pass. A quick throw over the middle is incomplete. That would at least stop the clock with 21 seconds to play in the half. A quick throw to the outside is caught by Braden Willis. Never mind, it's knocked out of his hands. That brings up a third and 10 with 18 seconds to play here in the first half. Samuel will take the snap and look to pass, dropping farther back. He's going to lob this one to the outside and pretty much just throws that one away. 
for the third time today, we will see kicker Christopher Dunn. This one for about a 36-yard attempt. The snap of the hold, the kick is away, and it is good. The Chiefs do get the ball to start the second half and have driven right downfield on Oklahoma City. It is second and three from the Bison, 28. Mahomes is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and fire over the middle. That is caught for the first down. Now a couple of plays later, it is third and one from the Bison, 11. Mahomes is lined up under center. It's a handoff to Pacheco right up the middle for the quick first down. That will bring up a first and goal. He comes back in shotgun again. Pacheco is still the running back now. He takes the snap and tries to go to Kelsey on the outside, but that is incomplete. That sets up a second and goal. Mahomes comes out as the only one in the backfield here. A five wide set for the Chiefs. He'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside will be caught, and that is another touchdown for Kadarius Toney. However, the Bison are not looking to go away quietly. They have driven down to Kansas City's 34. Samuel will line up under center. He sends Tylen Wallace in motion, fakes it to him. Now hands off to Kendra Miller, and that is going to be a gain of only a yard. It would bring up a second and nine for the Bison. Nick Samuel back in shotgun at the 33. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to throw downfield. That will be caught by Mike Williams through traffic for the first down. A three-yard carry from Kendra Miller on the next play brings up a second and seven for the Bison. Now from the 15, he'll drop back to pass. He throws to the outside. That'll be caught along the sideline, and he's forced out. That's Tylen Wallace setting up a third and one. From the nine now, Samuel will drop back to pass. Looking for a quick throw. He finds one over the middle. That's caught by Braden Willis down to the three-yard line. It is now first and goal. Kendra Miller is the running back. He takes the snap and hands off to Miller, who will walk into the end zone completely untouched. We now jump ahead into the fourth quarter. The Chiefs are down to the Bison's 30-yard line, up by five. Mahomes out of shotgun. We'll throw to the outside. That one will be caught and going up the sideline for the first down. That was K.J. Hamler on the reception. Now first and 10 from the 17. Mahomes lines up under center. He takes a snap. It's a handoff to Pacheco, who goes up the middle, but is not finding much space there. That brings up a second and nine. Mahomes now lines up under center. Isaiah Pacheco is the running back. He'll drop back to pass again. He's going to fire this one at the end zone and a touchdown to Rasheed Rice. Nick Samuel has managed to lead them back into Kansas City territory. We have the 39. It'll be a read option. Samuel to the outside will get met immediately for no gain. I don't know what you were trying there. It does lead to a second and 10. Nick Samuels back in shotgun. He takes the snap and looks to pass downfield again. He's going deep over the middle, and that is caught by Mike Williams. Never mind, it was knocked out of his hands. That sets up a third and ten. Samuel back in shotgun with two running backs in the backfield here. At the 38-yard line, will drop back to pass going deep downfield, and that one's going to fall incomplete. And we will attempt a 55-yard field goal to try to make this a nine-point game. The kick is away, and this one is going to be good. The Chiefs face a third and 13. From their own 34-yard line, Mahomes is back in a five-wide set. He'll take the snap and looks at pass going deep over the middle, and that one's incomplete. With just seven minutes to go, we are down by two scores. Can we score quickly here? Samuel out of shotgun. We'll hand off to Puka Williams, who will break one tackle and get brought down for a four-yard gain. Now Samuel back in shotgun for the next play at the 24-yard line. Puka Williams is still the running back, but he'll drop back to pass this time. He's going to throw this one to the outside. That's caught by Tylen Wallace, and we'll set up a third and three. About six and a half minutes to go in the game now at the 27-yard line. And Nick Samuels all alone in the backfield. He'll take the snap and a quick throw over the middle, caught by Mike Williams for another Bison first down. Now at the 36-yard line, we need to start moving a little bit quicker here. Samuel will take the snap. They're bringing a blitz, but he goes downfield and misses his man. Now a second and 10 with 6.23 to play at our own 36-yard line. Samuel out of shotgun will drop back to pass. He fires deep over the middle and once again misses his receiver. That sets up a third and 10 now. He's back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and looks at pass downfield one more time. He's going deep downfield. That one will be caught but knocked out of Wallace's hands. And down by nine with 6.14 to go, we pretty much have to go for it. Samuel out of shotgun, will drop back to pass, fires over the middle, that's caught by Curtis Samuel, he's off to the races, they may not get him inside the 10-5, touchdown Oklahoma City. They come out now with 6.02 to play at their own 27-yard line. 
They'll begin with a play action. Mahomes will throw on the run downfield, and he finds his man for the first down. But now Isaiah Pacheco is injured for Kansas City. That play would set them up at the 47-yard line, though. Mahomes is back in shotgun. He'll send Kadarius Tony in motion. It's a toss play to him, and Tony will break one tackle and get brought down for a five-yard gain. That brings up a second and five from the 49-yard line. Mahomes at a shotgun. will drop back to pass. He fires over the middle, and that one's dropped by his receiver. That sets up a third and five. Mahomes back in shotgun. will drop back to pass. Needing the first down here. He'll throw off his back foot, but he misses his receiver. Fourth down. Let's see where the Bison are going to be taking over following this punt, unless they for some reason fake it, which they won't. The punt is sent deep, and this is going to be a touchback. This game has been an absolute offensive shootout. Now first and 10 from the 20-yard line with 5.13 to play. Nick Samuel comes out in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back, but he'll drop back to pass here. He fires downfield. That is caught for a gain of six yards. The good thing is we don't even need a touchdown. We just need a field goal here. Now second and four. It's a toss play out to Kendra Miller, and the blocking won't exactly set up great, and he's brought down for a loss of one. If we go three and out after getting this opportunity, I'm going to feel sick. Nick Samuel back in shotgun on third and five. From his own 25-yard line, he'll take the snap and looks a pass. Standing in the pocket, he's going to throw this one to the outside. That one will be caught by Tylen Wallace, who breaks a tackle but has the first down. Now under four minutes to play, it's first and 10. From our own 35, Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. We'll run the play fake. Now he'll throw this one to the outside, caught by Willis for a four-yard gain. That brings up a second and six. Samuel comes back in shotgun. About three minutes to play now. Both teams do have all three timeouts. Samuel will take the snap and looks at pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Willis, but that'll be a loss of one. Another third down for the Bison. This time, third and seven. Samuel out of shotgun. will take the snap and looks at pass. He's going over the middle, and he's got a man for the first down, and that is going to be Tylen Wallace yet again. We are near the two-minute warning, but also near field goal range. Samuel comes out with a five-wide set. He'll take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw will be caught by Braden Willis, and he'll get down to the 30. That brings up a second and three now for the Bison from the 30-yard line. Samuel back in shotgun. We'll hand off to Puka Williams, who will get the first down and get brought down to the 22. Neither team is burning a timeout right now. A minute 40 to go. It's a handoff to Kendra Miller, and Miller will fight his way down to the 17. With a minute 20 to play here, it is second and five at the 17-yard line. He's going to look to pass. Please don't throw a pick. He goes to the outside, and that'll actually be incomplete. I wish we had just kept running the ball and chewing away at the clock. Now a minute 17 to play on third and five. It's a handoff to Kendra Miller, and that is going to go nowhere on the play, and they will burn their first timeout. And now we will send out Christopher Dunn for about a 36-yard field goal to take a one-point lead. The kick is away, and it is good. It is now up to the defense. A minute and 10 seconds to play. They do have two timeouts. Mahomes comes out in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass, going deep over the middle, and that's knocked out of the air by Anthony Barr. Still at the 25-yard line. He'll drop back to pass on second down. He goes downfield. That one will be caught through traffic, I believe, by Kadarius Toney. Now under 50 seconds to play. It's first and 10 from the 43. Mahomes will drop back to pass. He's going deep downfield. That one will be intercepted by Avante Maddox. And we're going to get out of here with a win. He should have just gone down. But whatever, 40 seconds to play, only two timeouts. We will escape here with a victory. Just a terrific play from Avante Maddox to jump the route. He was trying to go to Travis Kelsey deep downfield, and Maddox read it perfectly. This might have been one of the most entertaining games I have had to see in this series. I really didn't think we were going to win this game at certain points, but we win the offensive shootout 36 to 35. It's always nice to see that your rookie quarterback has the potential to outduel a guy like Patrick Mahomes. Nick Samuel didn't throw a lot of touchdowns today, but did complete 34 passes on 53 attempts for 400 yards, one touchdown and one interception. On the ground, Kendra Miller ran for 57 yards on 20 carries and two scores. Receiving Tylen Wallace filled in nicely for A.T. Perry. 11 catches for 107 yards. Braden Willis, 7 for 40. Mike Williams, 7 for 84. Curtis Samuel, 5 for 133 and the lone receiving touchdown. Over on defense, Avante Maddox had a pretty big day apparently, leading the team in tackles. 
and getting the lone interception. We'll see if our guy actually got the pass deflection. It does not look like it. It doesn't even look like they actually gave him the one I saw him deflect. So I guess we'll see exactly what happens there. But now over to Kansas City. Let's see how Patrick Mahomes did. 27 of 38 for 313 yards, four touchdowns, and one game losing interception. Running the ball, Isaiah Pacheco got 40 yards on 11 carries and a touchdown. And then receiving Kadarius Toney, 10 for 113 and two scores. Rasheed Rice, 8 for 101 and a touchdown. And Travis Kelsey, 5 for 52 and a score. Clearly a massive shootout today. I would say deservingly so, Tylen Wallace earns an upgrade point. He gets plus one to awareness, catching traffic, jumping, medium route running, release, spectacular catching, and then two to stiff arm. And then Braden Willis earns an upgrade point. He gets plus one to awareness, catching traffic, pass block power, and short route running, and then two to catching. Then finally, we have defensive back Will Thomas. We will see here in just a minute if he got the tandem breakout. I don't think he did, but he did earn an upgrade point and gets three to his awareness and then plus one to play rec, press, and zone coverage. As I figured on the tandem breakout, we did not get it, so Will Thomas just remains a star depth trait, which is still pretty nice to have as a rookie defensive back. But now in week 11, we will take on the Atlanta Falcons, and I really wanted to get into this game in this episode, but I think that last game was enough excitement for one video. So in the next one, we will pick up here in week 11 against the Atlanta Falcons in a divisional matchup that could decide who wins the division down the road.